Hello, this is Wes at Bad Seed Games, and today we're going to be going over the Move Towards action in the Transform subsection of Playmaker's Action List. Now, in this scene, I've got three objects set up with a floor. As you can see, I've labeled them Cube 1, Cube 2, Floor, and Sphere. And I've added on materials so that they're much easier to see in the screen. But other than that, they are default and basic, so no other changes. Alright, so let's go into cube 1, let's add in the finite state machine, and let's now add in move towards. Now a few things you're going to see. Game object. This means that it's going to tell whatever you can tell it to control itself, or a specific game object. And I'll set this up in just a moment. Now the target object. If you want it to go towards a specific object, you, for example the sphere, you can drag it in here. Or if you have a game object variable defined, you can add that in here. No, I don't have any defined currently, but let's continue. So sphere is going to be the target. It's going to finish at a distance of 1. Its speed is going to be 10. And the target position, now this one is more of an offset if you have a target. But if you don't have anything, this can be a hard-coded manual point, and I'll show you in just a moment. So sphere. and as you can see it moved right towards it. But say for example if this is not the object that you want to move let's specify a game object. Let's make it cube 2. Okay. Alright, so let's go back to using itself. Now the target position it can be a hard-coded value in and let's see, let's put it in minus 3 minus 20 and minus 5. Now if you have a sphere in here it will consider this as an offset and actually let's do the offset first. So an offset of 5 so that will be 5 units in the y-axis as you can see here and there it goes. Now, if you don't have an object in here at all, let's give it minus 3, minus 20, and minus 5, which is a point which I had calculated around here. So let's try that. And there it goes. Okay. Let's clear that out. We don't need that to be in there anymore. So let's put it back into the sphere as the target. Now the next thing you're going to see is the ignore vertical. This basically means that no matter what happens, if you have it clicked, it's going to ignore any movement in the y-axis. Which means that if you have your ball up here, it will go to its x and y coordinates and completely ignore the y. So let's bring this back down. Alright, now the next few things you're going to see is the max speed. Now this is going to be the speed at which it travels and it's going to be in units per second. So for example if we want one unit per second, it will travel at a rate of one unit per second. Or if you want it to be really fast, 100. 100 units per second. and it moved too fast for the computer. <laughs> so let's bring that back down to 10. Nice number. Now finish distance, this is actually a fun one to play around with. You can either tell it to say if you have it stop five units from the point like that or with the finish distance if you add in a point of zero that basically means that no matter what happens it will not reach a point where it will say okay I'm done and I'll show you why this can be handy. So finish distance of zero, let's grab the sphere and move it and it's still pursuing the sphere. Now this particular situation can, for example, if you have a, if you wanted to always be pursuing something, you would definitely be setting it down to zero as the finish distance. Now the finish event, however, 
This one's a little bit interesting because let's add in a state. If you have a z finish distance of zero, since it's never going to have finished, it will never trigger the I'm done. So let's create the actions. All right, and as you can see, finish distance of zero, it will not reach I'm done, and it won't fire. Now if we put in a finish distance of one, it now has a point to finish, and as you can see, it has just clicked over to the state that we've told it to go to. Okay, so I hope this has answered a few questions you may have had about this particular action, and if you like this video, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe.